hear my alien stories? Sure. My alien abductions. Yeah, no, go ahead. I don't have one of those. But oh. I do. I, I was actually at the Lily Alien. I was I was near Area Fifty One. And that was very. Oh my gosh! Should I tell? Do you want me to tell my alien story? From the, uh, it's called the Extraterrestrial Highway, and you go to Rachel, Nevada, because I was on the hunt for aliens, and we went past Area Fifty One. Uh, sure, tell me about your gay alien adventure. Oh my gosh! Okay, so. I went to Rachel, Nevada, and when you when you take the extraterrestrial highway, it's about two hours. I think it's north of Vegas, or maybe it's like I don't remember exactly which direction. But the sign for it says extraterrestrial highway, and there's like all these stickers on it and everything because people see a lot of like weird stuff there because Area 51's there, and that's a testing site, right? And I think we've talked about some of this before. But I went to Rachel, Nevada, and on the signpost for Rachel, Nevada, it says population like 87 people, aliens, question mark, right? So, and if you've ever watched X-Files, they go to the little alien, which is in, it's the only place you can get food in Rachel, Nevada. It's all kind of like modular homes and double wides and all that stuff. That's weird. Right? And there's only like 87 people that live there and they're all (laughs) people who are like into aliens and there's nothing, you, there's, the little alien's not truly like an inn or a building. It's just like a double wide converted into a bar and a diner. Where do people work? I have no, I think these are all just retirees and, and weird things like that. It's very bizarre. So... Yeah, and, and, and the funny thing is, is, is you could stand in the middle of the highway and, it, you know, it's a, it's a highway and the speed limit's like, might be like 70 miles per hour and there ain't nothing. You cannot, there's no, nobody driving on the highway. There's nobody walking around. Everybody's just inside. There's satellite dishes. It's very hot too because it's in the middle of the desert. So, and, and you have to go through these set of mountains to get down into the valley where Rachel, Nevada is. So as I'm there, I'm walking around and I'm like, oh, let's go eat at the Little Alien because that's kind of exciting. You go inside and it's a, I was not expecting there to be a bar, but there's also a diner and there's, you know, pictures of like alien sightings and all sorts of stuff. And there's like a gift shop and things like that. So I decide I'm going to eat there. Uh, and I sit down and I'm thinking it's the middle of the day. What, what would be safe at a establishment like this because it's a double wide and I don't know and there's no one else in there There, there's one guy at the bar there's no one else in there except for one waitress when I look at the waitress she looks like she could be anywhere from 50 years old to do you ever see men in black where they're looking at the person and it clearly looks like there's an alien that there's an (laughs) alien hiding inside Uh like her face looked like it was melting oh my god it she didn't look like a regular human being like her skin was like an a color that was not human it was like a grayish greenish complexion and it looked like her face was melting i felt like i was in men in black where at any minute she would like pull her ears and like an alien would drop out of it so she's my waitress as i sit down and i decide oh i'm going to order something that's uh kind of neutral like i'm gonna just get like breakfast right so i order uh, i think i ordered like eggs but the one thing i know i ordered that was that i thought was safe was grits (laughs) oh boy so grits are horrible i ordered grits and you know i put my order in and the chef comes out and goes i want to meet the man who ordered grits (laughs) (laughs) and he goes to me no one here has ordered grits in like five years. As long as I've been here, no one here has ever ordered grits. And he's like, where are you from, son? (laughs) And I'm like, oh my God. The waitress is looking at me whose face is melting. The chef is looking at me who's like from also some alternate dimension. And I was like, I'm from like the Philadelphia area and grits are pretty common around there. And uh, because I just assumed you know, maybe it would be instant grits. You could just pour water in it. It would just be tasty. You put a little bit of butter in, a little bit of sugar or honey, and I would be fine. And then I was like, oh, my God, I can't eat these grits because they could be five years old, <laughs> ten years yeah. old. I was like, oh, my God, why am I eating here? I ended up, like, barely eating anything and leaving. But it was one of the most disturbing incidences of my adult life. Wow. Wow.